Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Blubberbutter and welcome to Fallout 4. Now here's the funny thing, I've never played a single Fallout game in my life. I've seen a little bit of it, uh, I've seen a little bit of Fallout 3. Uh, that's about as far as it goes. I barely know anything about the universe, except that it's like a 50s alternate reality. So, um, I'm just gonna jump straight in here. And, um, I started just a little bit to see that it did run. In fact, on my new computer... I have, let me complain real quickly about the resolution settings. They're total bullshit. Seriously. Their, their settings are horrible. But that's beside the point. One of the downsides of playing on the PC version. But with the PC, you also get all the cool mods and stuff that you don't get on, you know, the console versions. So I'm happy to be playing this on the PC. Personally. Fun fact, a good friend of mine was getting a gift from his girlfriend, and she asked me to feel not to see if he wanted the console version or the PC version. And uh, so I brought it up casually, just talking about it, and he said, and I quote, it would be tragic to play on the PS4 without the mods or anything. I was like, huh, good point, good point. Bethesda. I have interesting opinions about Bethesda, mostly that their legal department is overtly unethical. But they do make great games. For a long time, I avoided playing anything of theirs on my channel because I didn't want to support them. I'm still iffy about it, but I I, I think I'll like this game, though. War. <clears throat> War never changes. That's not what Metal Gear Solid told me. In the year 1945... My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots. Oh, wow. Fusion-powered cars. Portable computers. <laughs> but then... 21st century. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. Hmm. Aren't we all? For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Wasn't Metal Gear Solid 4's uh, logo thing, War Has Changed? Am I peeing? Oh, this is the character creation, right? If I remember right, that's how it starts. War never changes. You've said that like three times now. You think? Careful with your wording. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. I'm arrested for terrorist attack. Okay, so, here's the thing. First of all, I'm gonna stop recording so I could go mess with all this and create my character. Um, I have been thinking for a very long time, and I keep changing my mind about whether or not to play as a male or a female. Typically with RPGs, uh, I tend to play as a male because, at least with American RPGs, or Western RPGs, rather, um, the characters are more like avatars than actual characters. But I've heard that this one actually, I, I don't, I don't know. I heard that they did really well with the with the, the the setup of the male and female parts here, and I do really like games that have strong female characters. Um, so I'm thinking, at least as of the, the as of this point where I'm recording, 
that I'm going to go ahead and choose to play as a female on this. And I hope I don't regret that decision. I don't imagine it'd be a huge deal. But I have been thinking about it a lot and going back and forth on whether or not I should play as a male or a female. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do that as a female. Um, and we'll just, we'll just see how that goes. But I'm going to go ahead and customize these people off camera so I don't have a stupid file slice to have to work with and edit down. And I will get back to you guys. Okay, I'm back. I've decided to ultimately go with a female character. Um, for a number of reasons. I'll just discuss that later. For now, let's just move on. Confirm character. Didn't really mess with the guy character that much. The The character development is so complex in this game, and I know you can get really into it. The problem is, I am lazy, and don't feel like putting that much work into crafting the avatar, especially one I won't be seeing very much, because I'm playing a first-person game. This bed is messy. Someone didn't make their side of the bed. Little tiny... Oh, is that what the American flag looks like here? Camera. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Oh, they don't even have... They don't even have uh, digital cameras here. That's interesting. And... I haven't updated their boats either. Hi, baby. Baby Sean. That looks exactly nothing like my baby. In real life. Is that how you play with babies? You just reach over and just tap them? Spin the crib mobile? This is their obsession with spaceships. Have they gone to space yet in this in this alternate universe? I'm gonna quick save. Oh good, F5 is quick save. You. Hold on, you're an American robot, right? Why do you have an accent then? Thanks, Codsworth. Yeah, thanks. Mum? Why am I mum? Are we not in America? Am I British? More of the same. More of the same. What does that mean? Political turmoil. Stuff that's relevant here. Oh, hi. Hi, Nate. Nate. I didn't name you Nate. I didn't name me either, actually. Now that I think about it. Um. Oh, this is a fancy bathroom. Baby's cry. Oh, baby. How can you tell if someone crapped or just pissed themselves just by how they're crying? Because I actually have a baby, and it doesn't work that way. Jeez, I jump high. This woman has some good legs. That could be taken any way you want to, I guess. High 52 on Monday. So are we in the fall, then? Unusual weather. What am I supposed to do here? Can I leave? What? Okay. What am I supposed to do? I'm stuck inside my house. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Need to Halloween. Ooh, I love Halloween. Oh, there is someone at the door. Let's qu quick save. Why is it my job to take care of him? Why don't you go deal with him? Hi. Screw you. Goodbye. Oh man, <laughs> I have to go back and talk to him. I can't run. That's annoying. Are you feeling all right, ma'am? Am I? Uh, no. But hey, let's just ask questions. Remind me again. Why we're about you, ma'am? Are you about me? So funny. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Oh. If you will. Well, I've heard about the vaults. Where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, man, this country has gone to heck in a handbag. You can't even say hell. If you have to say heck. My language. <laughs> the boom is, it's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. Is that a threat? You catch my meaning? Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being um, <laughs> a precious commodity. Mm. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, 
you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Okay, so, uh, this guy is really bad at the spiel. He sounds very forced. Yeah, it also sounds like he doesn't really believe what he's saying. Also, I don't trust him. Uh, did they, they, is vault Tech responsible for the nuclear fallout in the Fallout universe? Like I said, I don't actually know a whole lot about the Fallout games. I've only seen little bits of it. Um, enough I'm, space. Uh, well, you know, a bit of a rush. Really? Because you were just kind of standing creepily outside my door. I don't think you're in any rush. Let, let's be polite to this guy, I guess. I don't know what that's gonna, what effect it'll have on the future. It is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. Why do you talk that way? I just need to verify some information. That's all. That's my voice! Go piss off. Uh, I don't want to hear more about him. I kind of want to be sarcastic and rude to him, but I'm going to go ahead and be polite right now because, like I said, I don't know how important he is. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Let's. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Why do I feel like I just got lured into a trap? Oh, here's where I create my actual character strengths and stuff. Okay, well, first things uh, first, I need to have at least <coughs> above average intelligence. And I'll probably want about as much charisma. Endurance is pretty important, too. Um, from number of action points and sneaking. Oh. Well, I usually play as a stealth gamer. Perception. Ugh. I don't have enough points here. Is this permanent or can I level up and gain these stats back? Because I definitely don't want to be weak. I want to be average here. But I definitely need charisma and intelligence. And agility is important too. But I have no perception. Or one perception. And no luck. <laughs> I'm an unlucky person. Aw, oh, man. Uh... Oh, uh, well. Number of experience points earned. Yeah, it seems like intelligence is pretty good. I want to have... I need to be able to convince people to do what I need them to, and I need to be able to sneak. So I guess these three stats are pretty good. And I definitely want good um, strength. Because I'd like doing melee attacks in this, but my perception. Dang. I need to get better perception. Well, hopefully... Hopefully that's something I can do. And for name, let's just do... Um, uh, how about Serena? Spelled really weird. That works. And uh, let's accept. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Why are you so I awkward and weird? Prepared for, the prepared for the future. I just shut the door Thanks in his face. Hey. It's peace of mind. Is it? That's worth a little paperwork, right? Is you it peace of mind? No price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hi baby. How unreasonable of that baby. I think you need some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. So if I was playing as the dude, would they have say, said paternal okay. affection? Or uh, what What would their phrase have been? I don't know what happened. It's possessed. If you guys could hear that, that was my ghost baby running around, even though she's not actually here. Let's go play with my b other baby in this game. Boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. I know, I've been playing with it. Let's spin the mobile. That's all it takes to make the baby happy? That's not real parenting. That's my boy. On his Why'd you shut the door? Just like his dad. I don't want to get kinky. Well, most of the time. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. The 52 degrees. Sounds... Oh, uh, no, I don't want to turn him down. Let's be happy. Besides, he's probably about to die in the next scene. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You can come and see this. Oh, this is the nuclear fallout, right? Hey, can I pick up my baby? No? Okay. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes. Blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation... We seem to have what? lost contact with what our did he say? stations. And he said that the world's no. gone to heck in a hat and basket. Coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. 
No, nope, they're dead. Oh my god. We, we need to go. To hey, it's a magic door! It opened. Of Hills. Bye guys. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna check out my neighborhood. Yeah, I'm leaving immediately. Holy cow, these guys' cars look so weird. That's what pickup trucks look here? I live in Missouri, so I see pickup trucks all the time. They're honestly kind of obnoxious. I don't mind trucks. But, like, everybody who's, like, super crazy about their trucks, it's just kind of amusing to me. This is a weird car. With a joystick? How do you drive this thing? Or is that where you sit? Because that would be uncomfortable. Mailboxes. Yeah, so all looks cool. I'm getting slightly lower uh, frame rates, though. So that's unfortunate, because I have a really nice computer. So, I really... I'm not even playing this on max settings. It really should be running better than it is. Uh, evacuating. <laughs> oh, hey, you waited for me. That's cool. Really? For nuclear explosions, you think that's gonna be far enough? Yeah, screw the vault. I'm gonna go on this bridge. Oh, I'm dead. So this isn't gonna be realistic then, because if that's all it took for the bomb to blow up, it was only gonna be that long. Then instead... If I just go the other way, we happen to have longer until the bomb blows up. That's realistic. That's how video games are supposed to work. Is that a bathroom? Hey, what's in this person's yard? It's a grill. By the way, I'm behaving the way you're supposed to behave in the event of nuclear fallout. Can I pick up the ball? No. So this is why I put strength and uh, ability points in agility. I need to be able to run longer. I'm not going to play so not Soma. What was it? Oh, I didn't even post the recordings of that game because it was horrible. Uh, it was called Condemned Criminal Origins. And your strength was like, you walked as slow as a goddamn machine. Which is funny because they're machine. Oh, he didn't get in. <laughs> Wait, so they're just going to let all these people die? So, anybody who's not on the list has to get killed in there? Is the vault really that limited? Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. And God help us all. Hey, head to the elevator. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. They're not doing everything they can. They're just leaving them. Oh, I can run up here. Shortcut. Step on the platform in the center. I kind of want to see what's over here. Hi, Sean. Hey, can I jump over the fence? Because this car is perfectly laid up here. Nope, invisible wall. That's great. And, uh, that chopper right there. <coughs> so everybody out of here is about to die. Every single person. That's really sad. That would be such a difficult situation to be in. To know that you got cleared for a thing that would save you and no one else would. We're gonna be okay. Are we? He's about to die. Hold on. That shockwave isn't the thing that would kill us, though. Yeah, I don't think that's how a nuclear bomb works at all. I think we would have been exposed to enough radiation from that distance, wouldn't we? We would have died. I think. Then again, I don't really know how they work. We made it. Oh, well. Hi, Mrs. Whitfield. Excuse me. What? Everyone, please step what? off the elevator. On? What do you mean, what's going on? You saw what happened. No need to worry, People are folks. stupid. We'll get everyone situated in your new home, Vault 111. A better future underground. Aren't you glad you worked down here so that when the bombs went off, you workers actually were safe? We left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. We're not safe now, are we? Just head up these stairs and through the door there. Did they set off the bomb? I really feel like they were the ones who set off the bombs. I don't think Vault Tech is a good company. You're creepy. You also look creepy. You look like a molester. 
Levels are good. Step over to the table. Stop telling me what to do! I'll walk over the table when I damn well want to. Over Here, there. I cut the line. I'll take this suit. Thanks. But now, just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. You? All right, you three. Follow me. Hey. I'm waiting to follow you. Down the hallway right there. Thank you. This is our new home. Our new home sucks. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Really? Not that the others aren't great, mind you. <coughs> gone. Our home. Everything we have. Well, the funny thing about all this is I don't see any living quarters at all. Forever. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. I didn't put on the suit though. Where do I do that? I don't recall seeing any getting myself dressed animation. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. There's no room to get dressed in that thing. It'll be okay. Mommy's right here. See? Hi. Honey, I'm here. Could you help me? Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. All right. There she is. See? Mommy's not going. Decontamination. That's not a decontamination pod. That's definitely a cryo chamber. But let's go ahead and get frozen. Oh, magically my clothes are on. Were those guards watching me? Those perverted bastards. Depressurizes me. Oh, you have no idea. See the ice? Does that not concern you? Okay. So how many years am I putting cryo? Does, does my child change uh, appearances based on the choices I made for my male and female person? Do, like, the genes cross in the game? Do they have a, situa a setting for that? Because if so, that would be, like, freaking awesome. Oh, they dethawed me. So is this, well, is, is this set in the rest of the Fallout games where everything's a wasteland and all fucked up and everything? My husband? Open it. Is everybody else seeing this or is it just him and me? Like what about all the other people who are putting cryo here? Don't fall, don't fall, you're holding my baby. Oh, poor baby. He's acting. Where'd that gun come from? Stop pulling on my baby! And stop shooting my husband, that too. You're an idiot, sir. I don't... What is all of this for? So why did they steal my baby? Why'd they kill my husband? And why was why was he acting so aggressive about it anyway? You think he'd be okay handing off his baby instead of pulling on it and trying to keep the baby safe? You realize that kill a baby. I don't think this game realizes how fragile babies actually are. Well, I have my wedding ring. Where's everyone else? Okay, well, uh, this is not- oops. Someone knocked something over. Should come pick it up. Out of time. Okay. So, um, I don't know if this is still gonna be the intro then, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here. Um, I have a lot of questions. First of all, how much time passed between that last time I got refrozen and got out? Is my baby an adult now? But I I'm clearly this- I'm gonna be looking for my child, but my child's probably an adult now, depending on how long I was- <laughs> Refrozen, um, but we'll explore all that in the next video and we'll get to go see what happens after this again Don't really know what to expect. I have not seen very much at all almost nothing about a fallout 4 game So you all have a great day. And I mr. Blubber butter. See you later. Bye
this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at vault -Tech have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Our next area of attention is intelligence. With all the talk of physical survival in the wasteland, you may forget that sometimes it's survival of the smartest. An empty mind is a vessel for knowledge, and intelligence is the key to unlocking opportunity and adapting to your new world above ground. Your advanced know-how will grant you access to new places and new technologies. Space age, isn't it? Intelligent survivors are also more inventive, creating technological wonders of their own. Note that the S in science stands for safety. And when the tables are turned against you, don't be afraid to set aside your refined intelligence for the raw instincts of survival. Just don't lose your head. Advanced learning in the field of intelligence can offer even more benefits in this modern age of wonder to start navigating with technological ease. Keep blood where it belongs by healing in creating more potent chemical compounds from regularly study your vault tech provided materials to prepare for survival. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special?